Hello, in this video I'm going to go over how to use the aim constraint method to fix our local rotation axis. Um, so for instance, if we look at the local rotation axis of this joint, and this is supposed to be moving, extending out, none of these axes really help me out, and they don't point to the next joint in the line. A lot of times we want the um, local rotation axis or the a orientation to be pointing to the next joint in the line. Um, it just makes for more even rotations when we're um, animating this thing. And um, especially for this thing, uh, it'll be very hard to have it an extending. Like it would be hard for me to extend this out with um, nice and cleanly and I you kind of want to use these orientations um, to your benefit so let's do that so let's go to this constraint and go to the aim click on this option box and what we'll need to do make sure maintain offset is off and what is important here is that we want Z to point to this one. So I want this one to point to this one. So let me look at the aim vector and make that a one. And we want Y to be up. So that's already up on up there. So I'm going to select this one, then this one, hit apply. And actually, I messed up there. I forgot to turn this off. I selected it wrong. So I'm going to undo it. And what I'll need to do is select this one, then this one. I always get the order wrong. There we go. So now Z is pointing to this. That's exactly what I want. And then now I want this one to point to this one. So to do that, all we need to do, or I want this, I actually want this to do the negative, like the negative Z to point to that. So I'm going to do negative one. So I was at this to this. And I can never remember the order. Nope, I was not that. So it's this one to this one. And I forgot to put negative here. So make sure you put a negative. There we go. And there we go. So now we have negative Z to Z. So see how this is, if I, if I, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna delete these constraints because I don't need them anymore. But what I'll eventually do is connect them. So see how this is connecting to that and it kind of flows through like this. And then I can go over and extend like this. So I'll do this for each one of these. Let me undo that, select here. And I'll have this one So I want to make sure this is in the center because it kind of looked like it was off. And let's redo that. Snap it to that. And then snap it to this. There we go. And then I'm going to have this one point to this. Someday I'll figure out the actual order here. There we go. So the second one points. And then do negative here. So second one points. There we go. Then I'm going to delete these constraints since I don't need them anymore. And then I turn off this so we can see it better. Um, and then this one, I'm going to have it negative point to that. So second one points. So that's negative, so that's right. So that looked like that. That feels good. And then these other ones are going to be rotating out. Um, 
from the world so I think leaving those like that is fine mainly I want to do them on the arm like this all right I'll see you in the next video